so I was looking at garage conversion videos because I really need the extra space for animals. Also, look at that. That's pretty. It's freezing in here. It's about 50 degrees. It's 30 degrees outside, which would kill most of the reptiles, which means I would have to completely... I already tried insulating this. It did not work. I would have to remove this whole door and fill it in. That affects probably the value of the home. It would be a huge pain to change back, and I would not be able to park my mower and the car. And I know it's a mess in here. Shut up. I don't care. This could be... The reptile room. I can just convert part of it and there's this perfect beam to connect it to. And the best part is this is the side that A connects to the inside, B has a sink, uh, C, what letter am I on? Has a table and a pegboard and it would have its own window. And you might be saying, how are you gonna fit a car parallel parked? I could just pull it in sideways because this is a really wide garage and I'd still have space to vinyl wrap, detail, and that's kind of all I do to cars. And the garage door would still be there, but this whole room would be insulated. All right, we'll see if it happens. I don't know. It's one of those things where the idea is like, oh my God, this is perfect. And then you start planning it and then you start doing it. And you're like, this is the worst thing I've ever done. So I've never installed a door. I've also never really thought about how doors work. It only came with four screws and I guess you just screw it into the, uh, this thing. So I forgot to buy a doorknob, but whatever. It came with this thing. Is this a band-aid? What is this? It's a corner seal. I don't know what that is. So the next step is I'll keep installing all of the studs, I guess. Like me. If it wasn't already obvious, I don't know how to build. From this angle, it looks okay. It's gonna be hard for you to tell probably. It's not very straight. So I'm gonna just put, I don't, I don't even feel like I explain. I don't even know what I'm trying to do. I'm just gonna keep building. How about that? It's fine, you know? It's it's fine. It's, it's, it's so bad. Why is it so off? What did I do? Look at this one. When does it get normal? Okay, it was level about 10 pieces ago. Oh my God, I can see. So at one point I was trying to turn the entire garage into like a YouTube studio, but just on a very cheap budget. So I made these, uh, you can see them in the back of some videos and it was just terrible audio. I was sweating cause it was so hot and technically this would be the perfect YouTube studio, but it's going to be for animals. So whatever, but I'm going to just repurpose this drywall. I don't know how to get pieces up there.
let's all put on a happy face for Flats the Flounder. And behold, my wall. Now is this up to code? No, probably not. Do I care? Also no. But you need to kind of think of this as more of a temporary partition than an actual wall. This wall is not going to be here forever, but just however long I need it to be. I don't want to move animals in yet because I basically want to stress test and make sure it's okay in the cold environment. However, as of editing, it's gotten 28 degrees outside at night and with nothing but more than a little space heater, it's been kept at a warm 70 degrees around the clock. This will open up space in the actual home for me to, well, have a home. In total, this costs less than $500 to build, which is actually below my budget, which never happens, so I'm not complaining. Yes, it does lean, but you really can't tell. Maybe I'll paint it at some point, but not today. So that'll be it for the building aspect. I like doing these kinds of videos. If you wanna see more videos like this, I have a vlog playlist where I do all sorts of things. I move houses, I build, just, yeah, it's, it's, it's a video blog. That's what a vlog is, kids. But if you'd like to support projects like this, you can join my Patreon in the link below. And there's a bunch of other stuff in the description you can check out. So I'm Alex over voiceover, but it's still me. And thanks for watching.